What's going on guys, Blame Truth here, the COD Father himself, bringing you another video. And today I'm here to talk about how Activision are scumbags and grammar is not a consistently um, checked thing over at Infinity Ward. So I'm not sure what I'm going to title this video, but before I get into the negativity, I do want to spread some positivity here. So I, I kind of have fallen in love with Shoe House. This is one of my favorite maps, and I'm not even saying that just in, like, Modern Warfare Roman numeral 2 here. Like, this is legit, I think, one of my favorite maps in Call of Duty. This is a great map. I've been doing nothing but playing this playlist. I I'm right there with you guys who played Modern Warfare uh, 2019 for three years and only played Shoot the Ship, because, like, this map's great, you know? It's frustrating, though, because it shows that Infinity Ward can make good maps when they can be asked. Uh, but most of the time, I guess they outsource their fucking map making duties to, I don't know, some asshole that uh, went to Mexico and then he makes Santa Sima, Zuma Zima, Jose Seco, Gringo, Border Crossing, and Tarak, and some other mid maps. Like, I'm not a big fan of Embassy either, just two gigantic buildings that with the bright sun in your face. Like, a lot of the stuff they do, I, I just don't understand it. And it's so frustrating because this is such a good map, and I, I don't get why... They can't make maps of this quality consistently. I, I, I really don't. I'm also using the SPR here, and I'm playing really late at night, so the SBMM seems to take a back seat late at night, I guess, so you don't play people in Bangladesh. You know, it, it's, it does prefer, I guess, good connections sometimes, but uh, my team was pretty good. It allowed me to not really play the objective and to use this SPR. This is the first time I'm using it. It's a fun gun. It's good. A little inconsistent as well. That's just a big thing, I, I guess, with this video. The big theme. Inconsistency. Infinity Ward, Activision, yada yada. Just inconsistent as fuck. So, let's get into the meat and potatoes here. I want to cover the grammar in this game. Yes, uh, it, it's, it seems like I'm nitpicking at this stage, but... I've been playing video games all my life, and I have not seen grammar this bad in a triple A game since the NES era. Y you guys remember those memes from like Metal Gear? Like poorly translated old school NES games had some really wonky stuff. Or, you know, just like bad games in general, like Big Rigs. Uh, <laughs> it says you're a winner, like you are a winner when you win in Big Rigs. It's a cheap piece of shit game. And then. Some of the old NES games, just bad translations, you know, like, uh, Conglaturation. If you ever played Ghostbusters on NES, it says, like, Conglaturations. It's just stuff like that. Like, we should not be seeing this in modern gaming, let alone modern gaming with this amount of fucking devs, this amount of, of crunch time. Three years! 3,000 devs! I can't say it enough. They sucked their dick till the shit turned white. That's an Afro man quote, but they did. They sucked their dick all year. About 3,000 devs, three years. They're ahead of schedule. The most advanced Call of Duty of all time. It's like everything they say is not for the consumer anymore. It's simply to appease shareholders so they don't sell their stock and end up buying some sweet baby Ray's stock after they see it in a Mark Zuckerberg meta video, you know? Like, that's what they want. N nothing is for the actual consumer anymore. It's all about fucking greed and profit. And, like, Activision's always been greedy and puts puts profit first. I mean, they, they ran Guitar Hero into the ground. Guitar Hero doesn't exist anymore because they milked it to fucking death. They milked it until powder came out of those goddamn udders. <laughs> That's the sound of them just like killing the cow, man. And nothing's coming out. Like you can't, you can't do anymore. They may do that with Call of Duty one day, but then again, you know this game broke sales records. But then again, they charged ten dollars more. Uh, back to sucking their own dick, they said like, "Hey, this game sold more than Black Ops Two. Like it broke profit records in this amount of time. We finally beat Black Ops Two, the last good Call of Duty they made. Let's be honest." Uh, and, um, yeah, it's pretty easy to do. It's pretty easy to break Black Ops 2 sales records when you charge $10 more! Yeah! Pretty easy. You sell a free copy every 6th or 7th sale, however you want to look at it. You know what I mean? Like, you sell a free copy of the game every 6th or 7th sale. So, yes, I would hope you'd beat Black Ops 2, you fucking morons. Their, their clever wording and stuff just never ceases to amaze me. Yet, they're so clever with wording, and yet they can't be clever in their own goddamn menus. Let, let's get into this here. I got, I got a lot I want to cover. So, the fucking menus, man. 
I saw this on, I, I can't remember exactly where I saw it. Maybe it was on the Modern Warfare subreddit, but let's just cover this. I covered this in yesterday's video. I posted it on my community tab, but just look at the piss poor grammar here. So look at this for proximity chat. This is the description of proximity chat. This is going to hurt your brain. This sentence is literally going to hurt your head. Okay. Allows to hear the opponent when he is close and to talk to him. <laughs> take that in let's let's take that in shall we let me read it again allows to hear the opponent when he is close and to talk to him <laughs> that's not even a fucking sentence what is that i thought killbox was bad right like i thought in vanguard when they had Killbox, I'm like, well, what the fuck's Killbox? And I read the description and it just says Killbox. And I'm like, what is it? I thought that was bad. I thought that was lazy, but no. Let's uh, outsource these option descriptions to some guy who they just hired on for diversity's sake and they can't even speak a lick of English. Let's do that. Let's give him a sentence in Japanese and then he like, you know, Google translates it into English and then this is what we get. Oh, I'm sorry. What's that? A commenter, are you saying uh, stop nitpicking? Stop complaining? Uh, I can't hear you over the claims that this is the most advanced Call of Duty of all time, you fucking bootlicker. Sorry, there, there's more though. No, no, there's more. I actually went through the settings on, on PC and on console to see exactly what they fucked up. I don't think I caught all of it. But the stuff I found, man, okay, here, here's another one, all right? That one's bad, but here's another one. Double tap danger ping delay. This one's not that bad, but it's still bad. It says, set the length of time between two press to change the ping to danger ping. What in the fuck is that? I've been playing this game for what, nearly a month now? What the hell is even a danger ping? What's a ping? Are you talking about my distance from the server I'm connecting to? My connection? Like seriously, what the hell's a danger ping? Is that some penguin that like killed his wife and now is out on bail and is cruising the local strip looking for his next victim? What's going on here? What is that? Oh, but wait, there's more. Yeah. <laughs> now, I, I don't know if this was in Modern Warfare 2019. I don't know if a lot of these were in Modern Warfare 2019. They may have just copied and pasted shit. They, I know they copied and pasted bugs and brought those over. So if someone can tell me if this option is in MW 2019, like if it's worded like this, just just let me know. Or if they wrote something new and fucked it up. Either way, it's it's pathetic. So the lose lose situation. But sprinting door bash, sprinting through a closed door opens it with a bash. Okay, that's fine. Bashing a door opens it more quickly and loudly than using interact or X on Xbox. Okay, that's all grammatically correct and then we have note sliding through a doors will bash it <laughs> sliding through a doors will bash it i kind of want to communicate with the devs with this language and just see if they even know what the fuck i'm referencing i i seriously think that and here's the thing guys this doesn't just stop with the menu like i think i might make a separate video on this but there is a there's a big problem with operator descriptions. I, I think I do need to make a separate video on this because it's just completely fucking ridiculous. But anyway, sliding through a doors will bash it. Now, that's about all I could find as far as grammatical errors. But truthfully, I didn't look super hard. I kind of skimmed and just saw what I saw, you know, like I'm sure there's a lot more buried in the menus and throughout the operators and with the other text in this game uh, like some of the gun descriptions are weird they say they change something like they 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 hurt handling but they improve handling dramatically it's stuff like that just weird fucking shit i know that the new smg the bass p its description's just completely wrong so wrong in fact that exclusive ace said don't listen to that shit the person writing this stuff is just making stuff up apparently like <laughs> this the shade ace is throwing at this game and how fucking incompetent these devs are you love to see it but let's get to the last little bit here i saw this option and i swear to you i looked for a good 15 minutes i could not find this on console this is on pc all right Sprint pause reload, off and on. I, I don't have this option on my Xbox console. I swear to God. It says, sprinting does not interrupt the player's reload sequence. If you have it off, 
If you turn it on, sprinting interrupts the player's reload sequence. I would love to turn this off. I am so sick of trying to reload cancel like it's the old days and sprint to, to cancel it. And then it doesn't fucking cancel and then I hop out of my sprint and I'm reloading my gun like a fucking moron. Why did they take out reload canceling? It's more realistic. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, fuck your realism, man. Again, go join the goddamn military if you want a realistic experience. Go play Rainbow Six. I'm running around with a sniper rifle, jumping around like I'm on Adderall and I have moon shoes on. This shit's not realistic in the slightest. I, I don't understand the reasoning other than they're just trying to nerf good players and trying to nerf like advanced tactics and movements and whatnot. But, yeah, I don't have this option. I seriously do not have this option on Xbox. I did not see it. If it's buried somewhere in the menus, on, on PS5 even, on, on any other console, PS4, Xbox One, somebody let me know. I can't find it. But, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Infinity Ward needs to uh, hire 3,001 devs, and that one extra dev needs to fucking check their grammar and spelling, because, good God, man, who wrote this shit? And I'll cover the operator... Uh, descriptions in another video i think but i hope you guys enjoyed rate comment and subscribe ring that notification bell i want to suplex joe secott through allows to hear the opponent when he is close and to talk to him peace out i appreciate it nick i'm sorry if i'm a little fucking snippy i'm hurt and i'm old and i'm fucking tired and i work with fucking children